Tom Snee reporting for Total Telecom at Techcelerate. I'm delighted to be joined by ZTE's Managing Director of 5G, Alex Wang. So, Alex, there's a lot of concern and, and question about the evolution from 4G to 5G. So, can you explain a little bit about what ZTE is doing in that space? Okay, sure. I think the concerns from many operators are the first one, how to protect their investment in existing 4G network. And the second thing is how to make a solid migration path from 4G network to 5G network and combine them together, give a smooth evolution for their uh, network and for their users and experiences. So from our point of view, we believe that is a very important question we have to answer as a wonder. So what we are doing is to have a, a flexible network architecture to cater to both 4G existing network and the future 5G network. So what we are doing is combine them together, uh, have 4G network uh, and also 5G network at the same time. And also in the next uh, two to five years, uh, we are going to migrate slowly from 4G network to 5G uh, network. So that gives you a very smooth migration path to uh, 5G network. Yeah. And there are a lot of potential scenarios for 5G usage, and the, obviously ZTE has different solutions for those different scenarios. Yeah, sure. Um, one thing is you may have like a standalone 5G network. So you introduce 5G network, it operates independently from current 4G network. And down the road, in the next two to three years, you put them together and they become one network. So that is one option. And the second option is non standalone uh, network. Uh, basically, you anchor 5G network into existing uh, 4G network. So from day one, you have the benefits of both 4G network and 5G network. 4G network for all the existing coverage, all the users. 5G network for those uh, 100 million uh, uh, trendsetters to enjoy the new benefits of 5G network. So these are two uh, different options. So we support both, but we believe like a standalone option gives you a simplified and cleaner solution to uh, 5G introduction. Now, the general consensus is that 5G itself is probably three years away. So what does ZTE have for now? Yeah, OK. Uh, that is a real concern uh, and a, a good question. Because uh, 5G, if you're looking at the world market, probably many operators are going to launch it only by the year 2019, 2020, like in China, like in Japan, some parts of Europe and North America, right? So uh, we're still at 2017. So what we can do is we have a pre-5G solution to cater to uh, those operators who want to have the benefits of for 5G technology and 5G experience, but they only have 4G network. So by doing that, uh, you can enjoy the high support, high capacity, high speed of 5G, but you can utilize it on your existing uh, 4G network and 4G terminals. And we have a pre-5G massive memory solutions for both TDD operators as well as FDD operators. TDD is widely used in China Mobile, some parts of Japan, but FDD is widely open in other parts of the world like uh, Europe, uh, uh, South Asia, and all this. So we have the uh, a combination of both to support different operator needs. Alex, sounds like a very exciting time. Thank you very much for your time on Toast Silicon. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you.